What is McDonald's like in Australia? That's what we're going to find out today. That's what I'm going to find out today. Uh, what, like, what, the McKangaroo sandwich? What do we got going on in Australia? I have no Asian? idea. McDonald's? I do think that would be super interesting. I've never been to any kind of fast food restaurant. I've never, <laughs> I was going to say I've never been to a fast food restaurant outside the United States. But I've never really been outside the United States. Except one vacation, but it was to, like... There, there was no restaurants. And it wasn't far. It was to the D Dominican Republic. <laughs> anyway, let's get back on topic. Okay. McDonald's. One of the great things about traveling is getting to I have the feeling, I always have a feeling that the McDonald that the fast food in other countries is just better. Regional food from all over the world, delighting in Russian borscht or German sauerkraut. But did you know that fast food chains in foreign countries aren't the same as what you're used to at yeah. home? Well, let's travel down under to look at 10 things McDonald's in Australia do differently than us. Nice. It's all <laughs> in the name. That is how I came to America and you got your name. The Aussies will probably understand what you mean if you ask them for directions to the nearest McDonald's to satisfy your fast food. What do they call it? McDaniels? Cravings, but you'll find you have better luck if you ask them for a route to Macca's instead. Really? <laughs> Who knew? In America, you'd be more likely to hear the nickname Mickey D's, but that's not how things roll in the land down under. Instead, Macca's is a term of endearment used by burger and pastry enthusiasts alike. No, not macaroon, though you can find those What are those, Krabby Patties? Sweet treats in an Australian McDonald's, as will be discussed. And definitely not Macca, as in mac and cheese, which like- So I don't get it, is Macca the actual name? Because they've got like signs that say Macca all throughout this. Uh, it's not McDonald's, it's Macca's. Like in America is not on the menu. And though oh, you can mac and cheese, which like in America is not on the menu. Oh, it's not and on the menu. though you should definitely try the signature and well-loved beef burger looks good. at an Australian McDonald's, it doesn't mean the Macca root. In Australia, beet it's root? all about Macca's. Go ahead, say it out loud. Macca's! It's one of the many fun slang words that you'll encounter in Australia, along with the more well- I'm not going to encounter it because I'm not going there, unfortunately. This lady's making me feel bad. Like, is this like a tour video? Like, getting ready for when I go to Australia? I wish. Well known mate and crikey, among countless other terms. Moreover, there's a special insider membership called My Maccas. Really? You earn points, provide <laughs> important feedback, and save your favorite selections. Ma okay, that's fine. Maccas like, yeah, it's an app. It's just like the McDonald's map here. I I just thought it was funny that it was called Macca's on the app too. Almost as fun to pronounce as it is to actually visit. Hey, that was uh. So book your flight to Australia today. Game as theory. As the Aussies would say, you'll defo have a great time. Go mm. and have a great time. Different toppings. Possession of a condiment. An often overlooked but decidedly crucial part of a fast food feast is the sauces and dressing you slather on top of your burgers, dip your fries into, and drizzle over I don't overlook that. your salads. That's right, condiments. Fast food just wouldn't be the same without them. One major difference between the Australian and Here American we go. Finally. in this regard has to do with a well-known and often misunderstood condiment. Yeah. Can you guess what it is? Ketchup. You know it. Vegemite. Vegemite. The Aussies sure I have do to try love that. their Vegemite. That will be a video coming up soon. I need to find me some Vegemite made out of leftover brewery yeast extract, vegetables, and spices. It's a unique food spread that the rest of the world may question, but don't bash it until you've tried it, which you can do at I will be trying McDonald's it. in Australia. Other condiments you can only find at Macca's include a garlic aioli sauce and whipped butter. Mmm. But there are also some condiments only available in America, some that the Aussies miss out on. For example, you can order 
order a salad with ranch dressing, mm -hmm. French or Italian dressing, or creamy Southwest dressing in the United States, but... Yeah, I just think that's crazy that you guys don't have ranch, like, in the rest of the world as, as commonly, huh? But not so in Australia. And that's crazy. And should an Aussie want a taste of habanero ranch sauce or honey mustard sauce with their Ooh, big honey mustard, my go-to. They'll have to fly to North America. You might have Americans to. Love a winner. Bucket list Wi-Fi. Nobody can live without the internet. Free Wi-Fi is a term that's become ubiquitous around the world, and McDonald's is no exception. While yeah. most McDonald's locations worldwide offer free Wi-Fi, Macca's locations in Australia put a very McDonald's-esque spin on the whole idea. At Macca's, you're not getting free Wi-Fi, you're getting free Wi-Fi. According to their website, connecting is simple. When in the McDonald's restaurant, just turn on the Wi-Fi on your device. Why is no one liking my posts. Then select Macca's free mm. Wi-Fi from the available wireless networks. You're probably thinking, hey, this sounds a lot like regular Wi-Fi. What's uh -huh. the difference? And the answer is, well, nothing really. It's Wi-Fi internet just like you'd expect. Are they just trying to make this video longer? But that doesn't stop it from being extra cool. This is now on our That's bucket so cool. list. Watching Babble Top McDonald's videos on the Macca Wi-Fi wireless network. I'll be the internet. Mick Cafe. Was that my coffee? <laughs> no. McDonald's coffee has become a well-loved commodity, one that so many people simply could not live without. Indeed, it could even be con I mean, Mick Cafe. Oh, it says it was established in 1993. I was going to say, I don't think they got like their um drinks, like their fancy Mick Cafe drinks until like 2000. Seven. Considered as a main staple of the franchise. In Canada, it is a strong competitor for Tim Hortons coffee, which is saying something when you consider just how much they love their Tims. In Australia, I mean, is Tim Hortons not just like gas station uh, the coffee? The hype for Macca's coffee is very real, maybe even more so than in North America. How could it sounds like it because in America, like it's not, it's not hyped like Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks. Um, your local coffee shop, those kind of places are hyped in America. Like McCafe, it's good, but it's not hyped. Could this be, you may ask in disbelief, seeing as America is known globally for drinking coffee instead of the more European choice of tea? Well, when mm. the Aussies head to their local coffee shop, they head to McCafe. No, they don't go to Macca's to order a McCafe. They go to McCafe to order a coffee. Really? Flat white. That's right. You're understanding me correctly. There is a I am. So there's a whole different restaurant. Whole other restaurant spin-off branch, one that more closely resembles a cafe than a fast That's food chain cool. restaurant. That's pretty cool. At Mick Cafe, you can satisfy all your coffee shop cravings with countless sweet pastries and coffee combinations. Well, I, I could see how that might be more popular like because then you don't have to wait in line and drive through with all the other people ordering a bunch of food. To choose from. It's a smart business model, considering the people who are hungry for burgers may not be the same people who are thirsting for coffee. This way, everyone it's wins. True. That is how we win. Different choices at McDonald's Australia. It is the choice. Here we go. That we make. What I've been One waiting for. One of the for. fun parts of traveling is trying out new types of regional food. This doesn't just mean unique dishes in cozy little mom and pop type restaurants, though those are fun too. But it can be especially interesting to see what kinds of choices are available in seemingly familiar restaurants. Yeah. Don't walk into Macca's and expect to see a menu exactly like the one you're accustomed to in America. I don't. Because you'll be sorely mistaken. Yet all while being happily surprised. One thing you may find intriguing is the fact that Macca's burger patties are made with 100% homegrown Aussie beef. So why not try out the Big Brekkie Burger? Or if you prefer chicken over beef, there's also the Chicken Brekkie. Ooh. We don't call things burgers here in the United States that aren't beef. That I know of. That's interesting. What do we got there? So it's like a breakfast burger with chicken, egg, some kind of like ham and barbecue sauce and cheese. Key burger. Two breakfast burger variations available in Australia. Another that one had beef oh, and chicken. chicken. Two bre 
breakfast burger variations available in Australia. Another burger you may want to try is Macca's Triple Cheeseburger. That's just a good idea. Sure, you've heard of America's Double Cheeseburger. Yeah, I thought everything was bigger in America and stuff. Like to buy a uh -huh. but in the You'd think Mc American McDonald's would have like the quadruple burger. Land down under, they prefer three patties garnished with three slices of cheese. Oh, damn. Go big or go home. Further, in the United States, there is sometimes a limited edition Angus burger available, but in Australia, the Angus burger is a permanent fixture on the menu. Mm. It's an Aussie favorite, along with the Wagyu beef burger and the Bel <laughs> How much does that cost? Loved beetroot burger. The rest of the world may not understand the what's burger. The, what's with the beetroot the burger? Loved beet. What is that on the bottom? Onions? Root burger. The rest of the world may not understand Mushrooms? the love that Australians have for beetroot, but why not give it a try? Yeah, I don't. See what you're missing. Just huh. do it. Fries with that? <laughs> I haven't seen that meme in like ten years. McDonald's fries are truly amazing. Everyone knows that French fries are an absolute staple. Don't tell me the French fries are different. Full of any self-respecting fast food chain restaurant. But in Australia, they say step aside to plain old fries. At Macca's, really? you can garnish them with the topping of Ooh. your choice. In America, people are used to McDonald's fries drowning in salt and mm -hmm. dipped in ketchup. In Canada, you can have them dressed like, like their ketchup. national food, the poutine. The Australians, however, take their McDonald's fries to a whole other level. Yeah, it's time to take it to the next level. You Let's can do get it. them smothered in gravy. Oh, or more really? popular is the sweet chili and sour cream fries. Ooh. Picture it. A pile of fries piled high with gobs of thick sour cream and topped with mouth-watering chili. You know what's crazy? I've never had sour cream, but... The sweet chili sauce, that looks pretty fire. For a burst of sweetness, can you taste it? You know you want to. Another delicious Dude. option is Macca's signature fries loaded with barbecue and garlic. You may wonder why there are so many flavorful I options like available in Australia. Mm. Well, that would be due to the 2016 Fries With That initiative, where a Macca's in Sydney opened up and shocked customers when they realized the only thing on the menu was french fries. There mm. were seven available toppings, including flavors such as chipotle cheese sauce, curry, pesto mayo, and Caesar sauce with bacon and Parmesan, among others. So many choices, but only the best made it onto Macca's permanent menu. <laughs> That's pretty Has cool. Mother ever made anything as good as a McDonald's fry? Delect was it really a surprise though? Like you pulled up to the Macca's and they were like, surprise, we don't have any food except French fries. Double desserts. You want to get some ice cream? That does not seem like a good marketing campaign. In America, ordering dessert at McDonald's Maybe is, is not a very complicated procedure. The hardest choice you'll have to make is choosing the flavor of your McFlurry. That is, if the notorious ice cream machine is even working. If not, and you it won't will be. probably have to settle for an apple pie. Not mm -hmm. so in Australia. The selection of desserts at Macca's more closely resembles a pastry shop than a fast food joint. There are countless delectable and gourmet desserts to choose from. Each richer and more Look at aesthetic. that. I've never seen an ice cream cone just filled with fruit. Really pleasing than the last. Macaroons are a fan favorite, coming in a I know what that of is. colors. There are slices of different types of cakes, so you'll definitely be able to find the flavor that suits your taste. Do you prefer carrot cake? What about double chocolate cake? Or perhaps you'd rather a thick piece of raspberry cheesecake. You can get that at McDonald's? Jelly. You're sure to find a cake you'll enjoy. It's important to enjoy life while you still can. But if cake isn't really your dessert of choice, Ew. have no fear. Alongside the cakes are a selection of gourmet pastries, such as Belgian... Is that actually a picture Belgian inside Belgian McDonald's? Alongside the cakes are a selection of gourmet pastries, such as Belgian waffles or a great variety of muffins, sweet buns, and decorative donuts. Finally, if you love ice cream but aren't a huge fan of McFlurries, you can order soft serve ice cream cones or other types of ice cream drinks instead. No matter what your sweet tooth is salivating over, you can find it at Macca's. You want to get some McDonald's? No McDonald's value menu in Australia. Oh, I'll mm. my office is full of Klepto's meal, please. Some of these differences between McDonald's and Macca. I'm not going to lie, the value menu these days, it's starting to get pretty weird. Like, you can't, they can't afford to be giving away food for a dollar like it used to be, so.
Now the value menu is like Real the three dollar value menu. Really give you ideas for how to improve the franchise here in the United States. However, here's one difference that actually reads more as a drawback than an improvement. The McDonald's in Australia does not have a value menu. There is no such thing as the dollar value menu. At I mean, there's there's kind of not anymore here. And never has been. That means you always need to buy. Drinks are still a dollar. A full-sized meal, even if you just want a snack on a... No, that can't be true. That's not what the value menu is. The value menu is separate from just being able to get things a la carte. Small Can you really not just get a sandwich or a french fry? Burger or something similar. One of the reasons the value menu is so loved you can in only America get combos? is because it can be an affordable way to feed a struggling family, unemployed teenagers, and adults <laughs> alike, or anyone suffering with financial stress. Eating is the number one way people deal with stress, okay? Not everyone can afford to pay over 10 to $20 for a meal, and the dollar menu makes fast food available to anyone Whoa. and everyone. Is that actually what it costs in Australia? <laughs> Everyone. You may argue like in US dollars. it's not healthy for people experiencing poverty to eat at McDonald's, but let's be real. Everyone eats out once in a while, and those with money problems still deserve the opportunity. Plus, it's a huge time. It's kind of a weird cause. Times those with money problems still deserve the opportunity to eat at McDonald's. Saver. It's not always possible. They still deserve the opportunity to eat out. Possible to buy groceries okay. and then have to put in the time for meal prep too. The value menu at McDonald's is more helpful than not, allowing empty bellies to be filled even if their wallets are empty too. Macca's may have an outstanding selection of foods and desserts, but what's the point if not everyone can enjoy and indulge? Can we try to enjoy this? Frozen Coke. It must be that brain freeze mm, thing. Frozen Coke. It gets hot in the summers down under. When the sun is pounding down, it feels like a sauna, even in the shade. The water is boiling and it the makes air sense. is sweltering. You I mean, they do have frozen Coke at like at gas stations and stuff. something here. to help you cool down. Sounds like the perfect time for a stop at Macca's. No, not for ice cream, which would be sure to melt in mere moments. Not for a soda pop either, though you're getting closer. Even a bubbly soda won't- You already said it. Frozen Coke. Warms up fast during Australian summer. It's a slushy. So to provide an alternative drink that is both delicious and helps keep you chilled out as much as possible, Macca's introduced their acclaimed frozen Coke. Carbonated beverages are capable of being frozen, which is a blessing during the hot summer months in Australia. Yay! Summer's here! No need to add extra ice, which takes up precious beverage space and... The whole thing is pretty much a block of ice and ice expands like you definitely if you waited for your slushy to melt it would take up half of the cup so no that's not a reason to freaking buy this melts into plain water anyway instead you get a big that is an okay point i guess that like ice melts and dilutes your drink, whereas a slushy melts and it's still flavorful. Glass full of delicious frozen Coca-Cola, which quickly melts to allow you to enjoy icy fresh soda. Additionally, if a- I don't think that's the idea. Is that the idea? I think it's more like a slushy. You're not like waiting on it to melt. Plain frozen Coke isn't quite enough. Mm. You can order a frozen Coke float as well. Mm. Your taste buds will thank you for this treat of frozen Coke served with scoops of vanilla ice cream on top. It is somewhat reminiscent of a root beer float. How much do you want to bet this bee, this woman, uh, narrating has never been to Australia? Except the soda pop is frozen. But she's like, you're going to love the frozen float. It kind of tastes like a root beer float. Frozen solid. So the ice cream stays cold and it all melts together to create the perfect drink to brave Australia's How do you know? waves. Cheers to that. Yum. Yummy. Does look good, the though. The Macca's aesthetic. B-E-A-U. 
The biggest aspect of McDonald's in Australia that really stands out from that of America is the entire look. Macca's has a unique aesthetic design that is both modern and inviting. The sleek, fresh structure somehow still manages to transmit a warm atmosphere. Instead of feeling plastic and cheap, Macca's uses wood and steel for a contemporary and slightly higher end look, all the while retaining the familiar McDonald's vibe. Further, it's all in the details. Meals are served up on thick wooden ta mm, really? tablets instead of flim flimsy no way. plastic trays with fries in wire baskets. That's awesome. And even better, these platters are delivered by designated servers directly to your table. I mean, a lot of fast food restaurants do that now, but McDonald's doesn't. Um, but a lot of them be doing the thing where you get a number and they bring it out to you. Yeah, so that's not that uh, mind blowing, but I do like that little wire basket, like the little, the little French fry, the you know the the fryer basket, little thing you get. That's cool. No standing in line. And the wood plank, yeah. Line waiting for food. You can pay at either the cash or one of the large self. Although I will say, putting away after I'm done with that little wire basket, you know, carrying it around, looking for the spot to put it. Serve touch screens, Couldn't then be a take problem. a seat and wait for your food to come to you. Now that's a luxury not usually seen at many fast food restaurants. The it's getting more common. The trade-off, however, is that with higher quality comes higher prices. I'm willing to pay your price. The business model for fast food restaurants is meant to be quick and simple in and out. Macca's, however, mm -hmm. seems to push their business to the very edge of what could be considered fast food leaning more into mid to higher end territory. This is not necessarily higher end. Are they actually dressed like that right there? I don't buy really it. a good thing or a bad thing. It's just different. You know what? Australian McDonald's. I'm looking inside. I'm looking for like a picture like, okay. See like that does not look high end. Look, here's Macca's. Does this look high end? That's a cool McDonald's. Oh, look. I mean, it's, I mean, look at that. Yeah, I mean, that's certainly a little bit, it's certainly higher end than here. Most McDonald's here, <laughs> you wouldn't want them bringing you your food out. You know what I'm saying? Like, You'd be like, uh, you can just leave it there on the counter. Don't touch it. And draws in a different range of customers. JK. As long as it appeals to customers and the food hits the spot, it's worth the risk. Macca's in Australia may not. Wait, what's to worth the risk? And, and draws in a different range of customers. As long as it appeals to customers and the food hits the spot, it's worth the risk. Macca's in Australia mm -hmm. may not look or feel quite the same as McDonald's in America, but in the end, they're both similar joints that are sure to leave you. What did I say though? I feel like McDonald's in America sucks. And the rest of the world, it's better. I'm not saying like a lot better, but I'm saying I, I have this feeling it's a bit better. And I really want to see for myself. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, okay, well, thank you for watching. Wow, what a video. We really uncovered a lot in this 23 minute video. This was extremely um, productive to make this and watch this video, yeah. We know a lot about McDonald's in Australia now. Uh, subscribe to watch me eat some Vegemite. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.